Well, hi, this is Chase Swift, and this is a quick video to help those that are using a Macintosh or Apple computer on setting up their preferences to run Zoom. Uh, you'll want to open up your system preferences. Uh, in this uh, video, you can see me doing this by going up to the Apple menu and clicking and choosing System Preferences. These are the preferences that run your computer in the settings, okay? And Zoom has some special things that we want to check. So when your system preferences are up, come down to this third row and on the right side should be security and privacy. If you can't find it, you can begin typing security and it will highlight the relevant uh, items you want to click on. So I'll click on the right one, security and privacy and that'll bring that up. Now it may default to the general tab. There are four tabs total. The ones we're looking at are the privacy tab, so click on privacy. And then on the left side, there are several different areas of the computer where this is controlled. Zoom is just going to control five of these. Number one is the camera. But before, and actually I'll click on it now, and you can see these are a list of programs that have access to my camera. And Zoom is already checked. If it is unchecked, you'll simply go down to your lock and click once here. And this will allow you to unlock your computer settings as, as the administrator of your computer. Uh, in this uh, setting, I'm able to enter either my password or simply touch my fingerprint to the top key because I have Touch ID enabled. So I'll touch, just tap uh, Touch ID and that unlocked my system preferences in the Privacy tab. Then on the camera setting, I can make sure that Zoom is checked, zoom.us. So if it's unchecked, um, okay, it's telling me I would, it would have to do it after I restart it. Um, I'll do that later. Um, you just basically check it and then say quit and reopen. That's quitting and opening Zoom. Okay, that's how that preference will be saved. So I'll tell it that I'll quit and open it later. Okay, uh, and actually it quit Zoom behind me and is relaunching. So that's actually what it's gonna do. So I'll switch back to the uh, system preferences. The next one is the microphone in the same process. Make sure that zoom.us is selected on the microphone. The next one is accessibility uh, and make sure you scroll down, make sure that zoom.us is checked there. The next one is files and folders. This will allow you to uh, save recordings to your uh, desktop, especially if that's checked. So the downloads folder, the documents folder is optional. I personally store some of my zoom recordings there, so it needs access to that. Uh, the last one is screen recording. This is actually allowing to re, uh, show your screen. So make sure that zoom.us is checked there as well. The rest of these have no function relative to zoom, just those five that I listed. Make sure that you lock the padlock to save all those settings so that they don't ever change again. Then you can close um, your system preferences uh, and all those settings will be saved. And now you'll be ready to use Zoom and have the full functionality of sharing your screen and uh, using the microphone and the camera and all those settings. The Mac is concerned about security, so these are good things to go through and review. This is Chase Whip. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.